Let's go! It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. Here we are with chapter 11, lesson number 9, the angle between a line and a plane. Woo! So, suppose a line L intersects plane pi. Let A be a vector that's in the direction of line L, and let N be a vector normal to plane pi. Well, what we can do is we can easily find the size of the angle between these two vectors. We've got vector A, which is in the direction of line L, and vector N, which is a normal vector to plane pi. The way you can work out the angle between the vectors, well, you know you would have really your A dot B over magnitude of A magnitude of B, but in this case, it's A dot N, N being your normal vector, and then over the magnitude of A magnitude of N. And really, for the size of the angle between the vectors, it's going to be cos theta. But if you think about it, we're looking for the size of the angle between the line and the plane. We're working out the size of the angle between the line and the normal vector, so it means we are out by 90 degrees. So instead of having cos theta equals, because we're out by 90 degrees, what do you get if you put cos out by 90 degrees? Samantha? Sine! Brilliant. So instead of being cos theta equals, you'd have sine theta equals. And a dot n over the magnitude of a magnitude of n. Let's try an example. So example one, calculate the size of the acute angle between line, which has the equation x take away 3 over 4 equals y take away 2 over negative 1, which equals z plus 1 over 2. And the plane with the equation 2x plus y take away z equals 4. Let's go over the page and do that. So, how would we work out the size of the acute angle between that line and that plane? Well, we know we're going to use the formula just from the last page with sine theta equals a dot n over the magnitude of a magnitude of n. So really, we need to get these two vectors first of all. So, let's start off with vector a, which is a vector in the direction of the line. Hello! Remember, this here is written in a symmetric form, and when it's written in symmetric form, well, the direction vector is just going to be the A, the B, and the C at the bottom. So in this case here, it's going to be the 4, the negative 1, and the 2. That'll be the direction vector. So we can say then that vector A will have components 4, negative 1, and 2. And that will be the vector that's in the direction of the line. Yeah. How do we find the normal vector? Well, because the equation of the plane is 2x plus 1y take away 1z equals 4, the coefficients of x, y, and z really become the components of the normal vector. So we can say then that the vector n will have components 2, because it's 2x, 1, because it's 1y, and negative 1, because it's negative 1z. So that there will be the vector normal to the plane. To work out the size of the angle between the line and the plane, just remember, really, what we're doing is we're working out the size of the angle between the vectors, and we're correcting that by 90 degrees. So instead of cos theta equals, we've got sine theta equals. So we're going to use that formula, sine theta equals a dot n over the magnitude of a, magnitude of n. Let's go over the page and do that. So we've got these two vectors. We've got vector a and we've got vector n. Hello! And if we put them into that formula, you would have sine theta equals a dot n. You're just going to multiply the x values, the y values, and the z values and add them together. So 4 times 2, add on negative 1 times 1, add on 2 times negative 1. That will become the top line. To work out the magnitude of a, well, it's going to be the square root of, and you'd have 4 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. We're multiplying that by the magnitude of n, which will be the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared, plus negative 1 squared. If you work that out, the top becomes 5. Brilliant. And in the bottom, we would have the square root of 21 and the square root of 6. Perfect. Sub that into your calculator. Dunk, 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 dunk. And you end up getting 0 0.445, blah, 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 blah. That is what sine theta is going to equal. We are then wanting to get theta, so we would have to use a sine to the minus 1 inverse sine of that 0 0.445. Just do it sine to the minus 1 of that calculator answer. And if you work that out, beep, 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 you end up getting 26.5 degrees, because it's the size of an angle. Therefore, we can say then that the size of the acute angle between the line and the plane is 26.5 degrees. Woo!
Try some of these questions, working out the size of the angle between a line and a plane. This is the formula that you will be using. The questions are on page 47. Best of luck. Have fun. Woo! Bye. Yeah.